Life is good in our village. The mosquitoes don't bother us in the houses. Even outside, they bite less as our homes have been sprayed again. Like others here, I am healthy and able to work in the fields to generate an income and provide for my family. We no longer have to spend so much time and money traveling to the hospital due to illness. So my children can attend school and follow their dreams. Without malaria, our future is brighter. So what's the story behind all this? Indoor residual spraying as a malaria intervention tool face serious challenges. Resistance to pyrethroid insecticides was spreading rapidly and the newer insecticides were much more expensive. As a result, some programs stopped spraying and others reduced coverage, like in Tatenda's district. Then, due to the Unitaid funded Engineers Project, Tatenda's village was sprayed again with a now affordable next generation IRS known as 3G IRS, which is effective against pyrethroid resistant mosquitoes and lasts at least six months. How did Unitaid's investment make 3G IRS more affordable and accessible? Through short term co payments, improved forecasting, volume guarantees, and increased competition, the median price of 3G IRS insecticides was reduced by 35%, saving partners tens of millions of dollars. As a result, demand increased and coverage expanded. Approximately 118 million people have been protected with 3G IRS through this project which has enabled partners to protect an additional 71 million more people than would have been possible without this intervention. It's also estimated that, in combination with other interventions, 10.6 million cases were prevented. An increase of approximately 4.8 million. And the number of lives saved has almost doubled as a result of this project. For the first time, this allowed malaria programs to rotate different insecticides to prevent resistance. As new 3G IRS products enter the market, further rotation will be possible. A strong evidence base was developed showing the impact and cost effectiveness of 3G IRS when used in combination with LLINs and other interventions. A randomised controlled trial was conducted in Mozambique, one of the world's top 10 highest burden malaria countries. And further evidence came from studies in Ghana, Zambia, Uganda and Mali. Overall, 3G IRS resulted in a 22 to 47% reduction in confirmed malaria cases recorded in the public health system. The project was able to demonstrate that 3G IRS is a cost-effective or highly cost-effective tool by WHO standards. In the Mozambique trial, 3G IRS reduced the number of malaria carrying mosquitoes in target villages by 63% in year one and 85% in year two. And people were 90% less likely to be bitten both indoors and outdoors. Reducing mosquito bites in Mozambique prevents malaria which can cost a family three times their monthly income to treat. Moving to Mali, the combination of 3G IRS and seasonal community treatment with antimalarials saw the greatest reduction in cases compared with treatment alone. In Zambia, during a mass drug administration trial, the increase in 3G IRS coverage showed a decrease in malaria prevalence. The conclusion was MDA should be considered in combination with high coverage of vector control interventions, including 3G IRS. Also, careful consideration should be given before removing IRS, and here's why. In Mali, when 3G IRS was removed from Segu and operations moved to Mopti, a reduction of 42% of cases was reported in Mopti, but a 106% increase in Segu. We can all be pleased with the great results that the Engineers Partnership was able to achieve. So what's next? An independent external evaluation concluded that the impact over the next five years will be twice as great as the impact over the four-year project period. That's only if malaria programmes, their donor partners and manufacturers continue their commitment. New products must continue to enter the market to maintain competition and enable rotation.
The cost of IRS can also be impacted by reduced operational costs through adoption of innovative delivery models and improved technology. Using data to make smarter decisions about how to best deploy IRS and other vector control tools in the most cost-efficient manner. And new partnerships and additional resources to increase coverage of 3G IRS and other vector control tools as they enter the market. Thank you to everyone involved in this program, which has positively impacted our lives. We know that together we can end malaria.